Don't you judge me. Don't you dare judge me. I can feel your judgmental eyes on me right now. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have me, sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Welcome, guys, to another episode of Scrap Mechanic Survival. I'm excited to show you guys what I've been working on. Kind of, sort of. I mean, I'm a, it's, not, it's nothing big. Okay. Well, the first thing. Okay. Neither of it is it. Remember, I'm a noob. Let's just start there. Okay. But I am pretty proud of this bike that we worked on last time. And I've done a little more work on it. I think I've got it more stable. I used um pretty much every last one of our components <laughs> trying to get this bad boy to work. But listen, Wombat doesn't care. Speaking of Wombat, he's not here. He's uh he just was unable to be here. And I had to knock some of these out. I had to get I was excited to get back to it, is the truth of it. Um but uh so it's it's gonna be just me and you guys today, but I hope that's okay. And we got some things that we that we have planned. So I got it a little more more balancerist, right? And uh what I had to do, okay, listen, I'll explain everything. Let's just let's take her for a spin to start off here, okay? Uh, which one, which, which one did I actually put the driver? So I had to like, you know, make it a one man thing. I hate to do it. It breaks my heart, but I got to do what I got to do. Okay. So listen, when we start off, Ooh, look at your boy. Look how stable ish we are. I can even get going like this. Okay. Now we have an emergency protocol that if things start going crazy into the death spiral, we've got things we can do. You may have noticed, uh, when we were talking at the start. Okay. So I'm gonna see if I can make it do a death spiral. Beep. Okay. Oh, we lose the control. We lose the control, baby. If only we had something we could do. Watch this. <laughs> Bam. Emer <laughs> Emergency protocol initiated. Because I think just because it's a glitch, a suspension glitch to try and like self balance it. Okay. It'd be nice if you stopped like, if you if you made my point here. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> what I did was I added those pistons. Uh, that on a push of a button could come out and kind of like stable us. So we're not just in an endless, crazy death bounce spiral thing, right? So, um, and then what I did on this side is I thought like, instead of just having these random blocks stick out, I wanted to try and hide it a little bit. So I kind of tried to make it look like a muffler. You see? You see where I was going with this, right? It don't look too bad. Are you falling over? Please don't fall over. So now we got to make this side look like a muffler. Only I don't remember how I did it exactly. So we'll have to do things um, freehand. What did I do? This way? And then I think I curved it. God bless. <laughs> curved it again, maybe? Oh, yeah. Like a so? Wait, did I curve it three times? No. There's no way. I went up. I went. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Why is this so confusing to me? It's got to be like this, right? And then, well, what's, I mean, there's got to be some exhaust things that aren't exactly the same on each side. Oh, God, I bet I don't have enough of these pieces. <gasps> are those the same length? I think they are. Does that look anything like the same? It kind of squirrels. Okay, I think, oof. That one comes up farther, doesn't it? Does it? Listen, you would get what I'm trying to go for. <laughs> we can work on that later. But I'm actually like, uh... Without trying to send it into a death spiral, which essentially, if you want to do that, you have to kind of like, you have to really try at this point to send it into a death spiral and uh, be going really fast and just do a hard uh, turn. Like, look how well. Tell me you guys are impressed. Just put it down in the comments. Say, guys, I'm impressed. Because listen, I know, listen, I know this is nothing that has never been done, but I am a noob and I, oh God, <laughs> I am a noob and I'm pretty daggum proud of it. It's not the, I mean, it's not the most motorcycle looking motorcycle you've ever seen in your life. Holy cow! Your boy's gonna be, oh, we're out of fuel. And we're in a death spiral. Not, <clears throat> not now. Oh, sorry, God! Please, please. And the, uh, the exhaust actually, like, helps to stable it out a little bit, right? Because it's not just two, um, two pistons. It's like two pistons and two exhaust tubes on each side. See? See how well it works? Do you see now? I know I have some gas. Please calm down. Please, it takes a little bit. Okay, it gets squirrely. <laughs> it gets a little bit squirrely. Don't I have fuel? Sweet God, I don't have any fuel. Okay. Um. So let me. I'm gonna finish this exhaust out real quick, and then um we'll get back and I'll show you guys what we're gonna work on today. Maybe. Oh God! 
Are you ready for the big reveal? Not the uh, the exhaust stuff. That suck. The exhaust did get done. So now we got. I forgot that car was there. Now we've got. Ooh, shoot. No, we, no, we do. Okay, <laughs> we got magic exhaust on both sides. I think. Yeah. So okay, okay. Bicycles coming. Not bicycle. Motorcycles coming along a little bit. Two man motorcycle. You know, we can. I thought about adding some handlebars right here. I don't know how dumb that would look. But like if you came straight up out of here and then made some handlebars go around, might look kind of cool. The thing is, I feel like this is a get around vehicle now. Like I had thought about um, trying to make some drills like come out of the side and go forward or stuff like that. But I don't I just don't think it's going to work for that um, because I don't want to make it like m much bulkier. So I feel like this may be just like a getting around vehicle. It's actually pretty light other than the <laughs> made out of metal because it's small. So it's um, it doesn't burn through fuel all that fast. What we need is something that once again can get some stone slash metal. Let me introduce you to the snake bite 5000. I don't, I have a vision for this. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Yes, I do. I do have a vision. I know it's hard to believe. Um, like picture this, right? Like you, you need to go get some stone or whatever, but also you really want to just waste a whole bunch of time. So you hop on the snake bite 5000 and as you're going along, this thing's just slithering like a snake. It's a slithering little snake and it's going and it's slithering like a little snake, right? And then you get up to it and there's a big cobra head at the front and it opens its mouth and it's got two little drills for fangs. And it, you know what I'm saying? This is, I can't, I, I'm a noob. So this could totally turn out terrible as I imagine it probably will. But um, I want to get to work on it a little bit. So uh, as of right now, it pretty much just goes forward. But it does kind of slither. See, as you're falling over, it does a thing. I feel like we can make this work. So I don't want to put like wheels all the way up and down it. I want to keep as snaky snake as we can make it. So I use these things. And then I realized that I don't really, because those should turn, I think. Uh, Did those turn? Did those actually turn? Oh, yeah. Shoot, yeah, they do. Shoot, yeah, they do. But then I realized that I, like, I only have two of those. So... I think maybe I'll have to mix and match a little bit to try. <laughs> this is going to be so dumb. Let's take these off the wall. See if we can mix and match these a little bit and actually get this to not tip over. That would be a good starting point for the Snake Bike 5000. Let's see. So I think what we do is we go like uh, whew, two, three, four. Whew, whew. That even. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then one more back because the lift was in the way and then there and then I think we go Ooh, where are those things at? Oh, we probably need these So that they actually spin the other problem. Oh god. What why are those what? No, I thought these like stuck out a ways. Oh No, that's a problem, isn't it? What were these like stacked on top of each other or? They kind of were, weren't they? Is this what? Uh, I guess we could try this and see how this looks because I could make some of these. Let's go ahead and throw these bad boys down here. Okay. So now that's going to stick out farther, isn't it? Boom. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens now. Are those gonna spin? Those aren't even on the friggin' ground. <laughs> if they were, though, would they spin? It doesn't look like they're spinning at all. Why don't those things spin? Huh. That presents problems. The other problem is, and maybe those don't need to spin. I don't know. Maybe they just need to be there for balancing. Maybe since they're not even on the ground. Oh, let's try this one more time. Where's it falling over at? Forward, please. Go. Is it out of fuel? No way it's out of freaking fuel. There's no way. It can't be. Is it just too heavy now? Like, I don't get what's happening. Okay, we can go backwards. There we go. Now we can go frontwards. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's a problem. Also, that is in no way centered. <laughs> Maybe we work on this a bit. From the underneath here. 
figure something out other than whatever these are if I can. Uh, center it. Oh, God dang it. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Center it a little bit. And then once I get it all pieced together here, we'll cut back in. Don't you judge me. Don't you dare judge me. I can feel your judgmental eyes on me right now. I don't think the cord is permanent, okay? I just, it was something that I felt like might have been a good placeholder. But then turned out to be an absolutely terrible placeholder. The corn was a, a good thought. But I don't think, I think the friction might be too high on it. So I made some more of these things. Um, You can't make these bad boys right there. And I don't think I had enough mats to make, uh, to make enough to like replace those. So, but I will be able to here soon. Uh, for the time being, I think that these might spin a little bit better. We'll see. Also, one thing you may have noticed is that it's constantly always 12 o'clock. So the other day, man, I was on here and I was grinding. Like, well, I was, I was tr actually trying to record something and it wasn't going well. Right. So, uh, and I got tired of it being, it feels like it's dark on this game. 67 hours a day. So there's actually a command you can put in that makes it daylight all the time. Okay. So yes, I did put in a cheat that makes it daylight all the time. If that makes me a cheater, so help me God that I'm a cheater. But I don't know that, is there anything other than, um, like, will the raids, I don't guess the raids will happen. So maybe that's something that I'll have to think about, like actually taking back off. Holy mother, look at the, oh God. <laughs> okay, turning is not, whoa, why are we still, what is happening? It's not the best at turning. What I could do is um, what we might do <laughs> is just go ahead and make this like, oh, shoot. It looks kind of snaky, though, doesn't it? It looks a little snaky. What I could do is go ahead and try it with the um suspension glitch. Let's see where it makes it turn a little bit easier. Let's see if we can do this. So if we put this right here, I made this with like keeping in mind the possibility of having to do this. So let's put, oh wait, I already messed up. Boom. We want to put this bad boy down. Then we want to put this bad boy down. Then we want to put this bad boy down. Attaching only to that. And then that like so. And then we want to block this bad boy in like this and like this. And then, oh God, did that not place? This should make this uh, turn a little bit better. Let's see. Oh God, what? <laughs> Just makes it like curl up. What? This is rather unexpected. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 there we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, sweet mother of pearl. Well, we're getting around, kind of. Uh, the Snake by 5000 is about to be the most amazing build you've ever seen in your life. Good God, dude. Okay. Look, things are happening. It looks kind of snaky, right? And it's not falling over. Mission complete there. You know what I need to do? Uh, It would be nice. I don't think I can connect this to anything else. But it would be Oh, maybe I can. Okay. Will that be enough to lock it in? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. This is a little more controllable, but also this is backwards. Now let's try. It. Oh shoot! Snake, I'm a snake. I'm gonna come get your little metal and your little stone for those kind of snake. Oh shoot! That's pretty sick. <laughs> and what I mean is, it's making me nauseous. So what we might do? Uh, let's look at bringing out. Let's go ahead and start, shall we? Let's bring, bring out like a little jawbone, you know? This is absolutely ridiculous. So I feel like it's going to have to be God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe? It's kind of big. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then maybe now we start trying to like... Oh God, I have no idea how I'm going to do this. I'm not good. I'm just realizing I'm not good enough to do this. Okay. Then we come up this way. The bad thing is I'm so terrible that I'm not going to remember how 
I just, surely I can remember how I did that. You know what I mean? So then we come up forward a little bit, like so. Then we start coming in. Then we start coming in because it's a jawbone. Look at your boy. Look at your boy. Hold on. Uh, do I want to go in more with it? Okay. And then, oh God, that would have to be, hold on. Let's see how huge this is going to be. Oh, it might not be too bad, actually. Boom, boom. We got to bring it to midline. So we'll try and bring it to like the middle of, God. <laughs> this is going to be the biggest head you've ever seen. On any kind of snake master fight 5,000. Is that halfway? Is that midway? Let's see how large this freaking head is going to be. No. No. No? Oh, God. That's kind of massive. What are, what are these going to look like? I think that's too big. I think possibly... I think possibly that's too large. Okay, that looks a little better to scale. <laughs> Come on. This is okay. This is dumb. When you can't look at your build without laughing, you know there's an issue. Uh oh. Now, am I short of bearing? I am short of bearing. Speaking of amazing snakes, uh, if you guys have not been over to twitch.tv slash cobras, you should definitely swing over to twitch.tv slash cobras and, uh, and give us a follow. We'd love to actually talk to you. And I uh, think you'd enjoy the stream. So go check us out. We normally stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday from like 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. I know I plug it every video, but that's because, look, I'm really just looking out for you, to be honest with you. I really want to see you guys over there. I know you'll enjoy it. So we have played some Scrap Mechanic on stream. Uh, unfortunately, wall toilet. Unfortunately, um, the world that we were working on seems to be like super broken, like super broken. Um, oh, this is gonna be a whole challenge for me. This shouldn't be a challenge for normal people, but I feel like this is definitely gonna be a challenge for me. I need to make sure that this doesn't like fuse to the ones below. But yeah, so the world, like, I don't know if any of you guys have experienced this, and if you have, I would certainly be interested to know how you fixed it. But we have this weird, like, um, this is not gonna work. We have this weird, uh, connector glitch. Where like whenever you look at something that you're trying to build, like it turns the entire sky and like everything like that color. So if you're trying to connect the engine, you'd have like these giant orange um, like glitches in the sky and stuff like that. It's really weird the way that it does. And it uh, it's making it unplayable at this point. Um, so I don't know if we're going to have to start like a new. Oh, this is a whole thing. If we're going to have to start <laughs> like a. Uh like a new world or what but that's kind of what it's seeming like which i don't mind because there's there's nothing i mean i did build like a super swag tank over there and then your boy built cow car uh i was pretty early up on that cow car game uh i wonder if should i just take this point out right there is this gonna make the whole thing fall apart please no okay cool uh so yeah i mean you know there, there's some things that i'll miss but all in all i guess no big deal start over there all right i've been placing these one by one just because like and i hope that again i'm a noob i hope that connecting this at the end to this other bearing isn't about to just like mess things up oh please okay so there we go maybe this will work like it might be more like an alligator i'm not sure what this is gonna end up being um i should have a controller which i do where can i put this bad boy at uh, let's just throw it like, ugh. What I hate about putting it right there is like things can get to it. Uh, let's put it pretty side out. Otherwise people will like be mad at me. There we go. Um, so now we want to move this to that and that max connections reached. Cool. So let's see if I was to set this to, I need some kind of button, don't I? Button or switch. Let me get a button or switch. Surely, since I placed them all one by one, it'll be free moving and I can actually open the mouth. There's a chance that that won't happen. What do we got in here? What your boys got in here? A switch? Is there a switch of any kind? Maybe on the wall? Please don't make me. Oh, yes. Too lazy to go build one. Okay. So now we should be able to connect this to a switch. Watch this, guys. I have, like, supreme confidence in myself. 
Let's just go ahead and put it right there like you would. Then we do bling, bling, bloom. We connect this controller to here. Let's see. What if we just start it like, please? Oh, did it move? Ooh, so it's trying to open. But it did get locked down somewhere, maybe? Oh, no. Like, you can see where it's trying to separate. I wonder how much it is to upgrade this controller. Because then maybe I can set the other side to that. What is it? It's just two. I'm fairly certain I have two of those. So then we can have the other bearing, which I don't even know if it's connected to anything. God. I'm using all these freaking components, man. I'm definitely going to have to go grind some out. But guess what? It's not nighttime no more. So I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, okay. Boom. Now we're going to go ahead and connect you to this one as well. Like, I feel like it's trying to open. Is it lifting the entire flapping thing up? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, okay, hold on. This wants to go, we want this to go n positive. Oh, and this other one needs to go negative. <laughs> There we go. That did nothing. Oh, I'm supposed to hit the switch. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, now I've done it, haven't I? What the frick? Hold on. Whoa. That's weird. I wasn't really expecting it to. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I think this one is irrelevant, honestly. And so I think this one, maybe we need to put it like 90 degrees. Okay. Okay. Now look at us. Now look at us, baby. We're going to start at like 30. I don't know why that didn't work before. Oh, I do know why that didn't work before because I'm a moron. And I had it going the wrong way. There we go. So now, slithery snake. It's, I don't know. I'm, psh, it may end up being... Oh, dude, this is kind of sick. Look at this, man. Oh, shoot. Okay. So here we go. Looking like a little snaky. Now where them fangs go. Oh, shoot. Can I put another one on? <laughs> Let's just weigh it down. Oh, dang, this may actually come out being kind of cool. Holy cow. I know that I'm going to have to upgrade like all this stuff, which makes me a little sad. The engine and the seat. I mean, that's really honestly nothing. Okay, so now we want it though. <sighs> you know what happened? What needs to happen? It needs to be like an actual snake. And these jaws need to open, right? The bottom jaw is going to have to open and like dislocate so that this can actually get down and bite something, won't it? So that's going to have to be another thing all by itself. How, how would we make that? How would we make that swing open? Hmm. All right. To get this to open, what I think I'm going to have to do. Ugh, I hope I don't screw this whole thing up is place a block uh oof. place a block <laughs> here oh no hold on okay i gotta think this out uh i need it to to swivel right so i'm gonna have to put like a block here oh that's not a block at all i'm so scared okay i'm about to screw this up i know that i am let's drop this down um, and then a block here. Oh, and then I'm going to have to take this out. Uh, <laughs> put this here and then, and then, and then, and then put a block that attaches. Oh, uh, can I, can I do that? Is that just going to move by itself? So now, say I hooked this. How many connections does this have now? Just two. Dang it. I'm super scared, bro. Okay. When I take this off the lift, I should be able to tell if it's just that part. Um. All right. Let's go ahead and let... Ugh. Ugh. Do I have another controller? I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I need this to open up on the push of a button. So... It would, I would need another controller, I think. I think that that's not, I even think that's not right. Oh no. So what if I do like this? 
That almost looks better. Okay. So now this should have a starting position that it ignores, apparently. I don't know why. Starting position? Did I break the entire thing when I took that part off? <gasps> that whole part's gone. Wait, why? No. That's a bug, right? That's a bug. That's a bug. I'm pretty sure that's a bug. I feel confident. Oh, what's happening? Oh, it like moved out. Why? Why did that happen? Oh, oh I need to. Okay, hold on. Hold on. This was working fine earlier. Oh, God. This is why you shouldn't let me do things. Okay, I want to say I got this feel like figured out now. <laughs> I had it pretty broken, though, to be honest with you. This is been a whole thing. Please tell me that matches up. Oh, it kind of matches up. It's definitely not original. Like, I originally had it. Okay, I may have to update this one more. Upgrade that one more time. Oh, lordy. Okay, so now do I want to... I need to take this controller, and we need to run it there. <clears throat> and we need to make that positive, whatever this one is, 60. So now I want to say, when it's like... Look at him. Look at him. He's coming in. He's eating your, he's eating your, I'm, I guarantee he's eating your stone for sure. Oh, shoot. Okay. So now we probably need to, on the push of a button, make this go up a little bit more, maybe to like 75 degrees. Let's see if that's too much. Oh, shoot. He's coming in at you, baby. Oh, he's coming in at you. So then what do I do though? How do I, how do I get this from here? So now I want this to bite back down to like, uh, who, who, who I push the button again. And <laughs> also, is it going to bring this to zero? I don't really understand what's about to happen. Now we want this to come down to like, uh, minus 15. I don't know. Let's see. Whoa. Chill player. Is this him? Going in for the bite? What is happening? I think I reset the whole thing. I think I broke it. Is this broken? Is this... Okay. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> okay, it's back at the beginning, I think. Now. Boom. Oh! It's probably going to take another controller, right? Because it's just going to go through all of its... Why is that still going back, though? Weird. And then it's going to pass through... Oh, I guess it just turns off. And then when I hit that, it's going to bring it all back together again. Oh, Lord, that's all kinds of broken. <laughs> Let's bring that to zero. So at the push of a button, it's going to start off at 30. And then it's going to bring its mouth more wider openest. And then what do I do? How do I get this to close back down? Right? So now I got to figure out how I'm going to make it. And I feel like this is a super, and you guys are probably screaming, <laughs> probably screaming at me. I wonder if this is attached. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a whole thing, right? So is it just the matter of another button? This is a whole thing. You can't attach the same button to that though. Oh Lord. Give me a second. All right, we're either making progress or we're not making progress. I'm not really sure. So all I did was set the timer to go through a, a couple more motions on the um, on the closing of the mouth. I would really, if you guys know how I could do this in a push of a button, like so, I have the button make it go open wider, and then um, you know, if I hit it again, that turns off the controller. So if there's a different way that I can with the push of a button, make that mouth close in, but still keep the jaw opened. Let me know because I would super appreciate it because I, again, am a noob. So what I got to do now, I think I'm going to have to number one, throw some bearings under these guys. I don't know what I was thinking here. Is that like right there? Is that the place we need to be? Yeah. Okay. Then let's put another one here. That way we can actually spin these. And what I did is I just went ahead and made like a motor specifically for hopefully I can like, God, is this even going to reach? Where's the, uh, 
Uh, let's move it back just a little bit. So we got some clearance there. And then now, God, I hope that reaches. Okay, we got our own motor to drive these. And we want that to happen with the push of a button. And then if we can bring this button to the seat. Oh, shoot. Okay, now let's put a little gas up in it. Now let's put a little max up in it. So now, number two should spin. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. And then, like I said, we open the mouth. We open the jaws. It's coming at you, baby. You can't even stop it. Unless well, it's made out of wood, so you probably could actually stop it quite easily. So Okay, so there it goes. Bling, 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 bling. So it's got lowered it, and then whenever, um, then whenever I'm done, we just hit this button. And then over the course of way too awkwardly long, and I'm unsure why, then it opens back up, and the jaw uh, opens all the way back up. I'm not sure about that. And then the jaw, listen, listen, we gotta, it's time to put this to work. Also, this is, let's hook this back up backwards, I guess, this thing. There we go. Also, let's change out of that. There we go. Oh, shoot. Dude, I'm super excited about this. Does the snake need to be longer? We'll have to definitely, I think, finish this next time. Oh, God, dude. I, I got to get a regular engine on here. Because <laughs> this is not doing the job. <laughs> Please. Can we go a little faster? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get up. We're about to eat this rock, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out. Uh, okay, open. Open. Uh, get up in there. Drop up in there. Drop up in there. Drop up in there. Drop up in there. Oh, shoot. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. Admittedly, there could be better ways. Hold on. We're going to figure it. Hold on. That ain't no thing. I mean, something did happen, and we did destroy a rock. I feel like at least you guys can see the vision now. And that's all anyone can ask for. There we go. Close that down. God, I have really got it. This is, it's just sad with the scrap motor on it, but I don't know how much. Oh no, maybe I need a, <laughs> it's not very good at heels either. Ooh, okay. Let's go in reverse. Hold on. Let's back it on up, baby. Back, back, back it up. Okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm literally already tired of this. Let's, um, let's go make a regular motor. All right, hopefully I don't need to update anything else because I'm pretty sure I'm completely out of components. All right, so now uh, when I replace this engine, it's got to run to the rear wheels. It's got to run to the front wheel. Oh, is that it? Oh, that ain't nothing. Okay, let's go ahead and I did already take the gas out of this, right? I don't want to lose that. Uh, Okay, throw that bad boy like this. Let's go ahead and connect it to the front wheel <laughs> front wheels like so and then let's connect it to I only had it connected to one back wheel because <laughs> you know because basically how about here can I do three no can I upgrade you with the last of my components I'm one short what well, that kind of sucks does this move any better now okay well, it would help pop probably if I put some gas in it. Boom. <clears throat> let's put it to the number one. <laughs> let's make sure it's to the seat, which it is not because I'm a moron. That would have been a pretty bad ordeal. Now, the crank grown up to 11, right? Oh, shoot. Okay. At least it can get around a little bit. Kind of almost <laughs> stuck on everything. This is going to get rather annoying. Okay. Then you do your old snake a spin a Let's go for this one. I've got a target in sight. Spread them open, bad boy. Oh, God. Please get up there. Please get up there. Oh, God. Oh, it's not going to get up there. It is not going to get up. Okay, let's just close it up. <laughs> Maybe we come around the backside to this other one and see if maybe we can, uh, maybe we can attack this one a little easier because we'll be coming down heels. Oh, shoot. What should we name this? Does the snake bite 5,000 a good enough name? 
Do we name it the, like the Copperhead? Or do we like, do we name it the Can't Drive It? Oh! <laughs> spin! Spin! Oh! Yeah! Oh, I feel so Oh, God! That didn't go as planned at all. Okay. We'll let it open up, do its thing. It's going to try and close, but be unable to. At which point I'm going to have to like tell it to chill, bro. Okay. Okay. Look at this. <clears throat> so this is why I need another button to be able to close it. Uh, more batteries. Do you know what I mean? Let's see if I can keep it in this position. Oh, it's going to want to open. Come on. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I also have it floored right now. I might need to upgrade this. Uh... Oh, shoot. Get down there, baby. Get down there, baby. I don't know about you, but I would call this a semi-success. <laughs> I would really appreciate you guys' help if uh, if y'all did know how to... Um... Is that going to break or not? If y'all did know how in the push of a button I could adjust the, the top jaw again, or even better, if I could like freehand adjust the top jaw would be pretty fantastic. Also, I'm a little bit stuck. So there's that as well. Uh, I don't know. I think this is going well. We'll probably have to continue it next time and see if we can't finish building it. Maybe make it look a little bit cooler. Uh, and then in, in that amount of time, I'll be able to take some of you guys, hopefully some of your suggestions into account and uh, get this working a little bit better. Guys, I hope that you're enjoying the Scrap Mechanic series. If you are, I'd certainly love to hear about it. Hit that thumbs up button. Give me, um, give me a subscribe. I don't know. That was a weird statement. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.